Hi everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a few weeks since I have uploaded. I've been sick and very busy. I'm getting ready actually to go over the road with my husband. So we will be doing a vlog while I'm over the road. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I get to see of the country during this week that I'm going to be gone. Um, my kids won't be around. It's just me and my husband. We don't do this very often, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, this is going to be a combination of a get ready with me and we're going to go over, um, the Walmart beauty box, the Ipsy bag and birch box for this time. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the Ipsy bag. Now there were some variation and multiple different colors that you could get in your Ipsy bag. Mine was the pretty yellow one. It's got the three different shades of yellow. It's a very nice heavier vinyl and in my bag this month. The card says flying colors because for those of you that don't know, this is Pride Month. Um, this month we celebrate the LGBT community and all of its many wonderful advancements that have occurred over the last several years and we push to get further legislation in their favor. So this month's Ipsy bag. Hi. First of all, let me let me get this out here because I've been using it. I'm in love with it. There it is. I got the Luxie 245 small shader brush in my bag. That was the first thing I saw in my bag and I was in love. I've used it three or four times. It works very great for shimmers and it works okay for packing on glitter as long as it's wet. Now the next thing that I got in here, I've also used, I've tried it out. I got an eyeliner. I got the Eyeline 24-7 Eyeliner in the shade in the Navy. Now there were two options for this one in the Ipsy bag. There was Whiskey or in the Navy. And it is a crayon style eyeliner. And it is a very dark blue. It almost looks black, but I promise it is a navy blue. Now I reviewed I reviewed this product on Ipsy already and um, my overall thoughts of this eyeliner are not that great. It, it swatches beautifully, but when you put it on your upper lid, it's a little transparent. It really needs to be a little more opaque so that you can get the vibrancy in the color. Otherwise, it just kind of looks like you've smudged your eyeliner. It does work a little bit better in the waterline, though. So if you're a fan of a black liquid liner, but you want to add a little bit of pop to color of color to your look, this works great in the waterline. And now the next thing we had in here was a cream metallic foil out eyeshadow and this was made with jojoba oil and it's by i don't know if it's sahi or s-a-h-i cosmetics and i did open the package already this is the little unicorn it comes in but this is the actual product i've used this a couple times i am not sure how i feel about it it's a very, very pretty bronzy color, and as you can see, it's got the nice metallic reflex because it is a foiled shadow. It's very, very soft. I'm trying to get a decent. It doesn't swatch very well, though. I mean, it's there, but it doesn't swatch very well. It does pack on nicely with a brush. Um, my only issue was is the foil in it. The glitter doesn't tend to stick as well as I would like. I do not have a glitter glue, um, something I'm in the market for, but I don't currently have one. And I had an issue with the little pieces of foil glitter getting into my eye and kind of irritating my eye a little bit. The next thing in my bag is the three times sublime three in one blackhead wash scrub and mask with pink grapefruit and jojoba oil. It's formula 10.0.6. And it is a one fluid ounce sample. It has the little foily thingy on it. We're gonna go ahead and pop that to smell it. It's got a really light scent. I expected it to be a little bit stronger with it being a grapefruit. It's very thick, very creamy. It almost looks like a mud mask. I'm not gonna squeeze it all the way out, but it definitely has like the consistency of toothpaste. So it looks like it might be a mud mask. Um, and the final thing this month was the Belief, B-E-L-I-F, Believe in Truth Moisturizing Eye Balm, Essential Eye Cream, yes. And it is a five milliliter sample. 
It's supposed to provide intense moisture and boost elasticity up to 26 hours. And it's very citrusy. It smells kind of lemony. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, usually your eye creams aren't citrusy. But it smells very good. It says gently pat a small amount and massage under the eye rim area with your ring finger until well absorbed. Avoid direct contact with the eyes. Keep out of reach of children. So I have a little bit here in the cap. And I've washed my face because I'm getting ready to do makeup. I'm going to try some of this stuff on for you guys. But I'm also going to go ahead and try this on for you. I'm going to use my mirror over here, so pardon me. I do have just a little bit on there. All right, so it's lightweight. It's very refreshing feeling. It's probably the citrus in it. It absorbs really easily. I don't know if that's just my skin because I was out at the lake last Saturday for eight hours for my oldest daughter's birthday party. She turned 11. As you can kind of see on my shoulders, I got a little bit of sun. Not as bad as I anticipated considering I was out there for eight hours. Um, yeah. All right. Well, it definitely feels good on there. Very kind of refreshing. The uh, citrusy scent actually kind of opened up my sinuses a little bit, so that's appreciated because I've been battling a summer cold and my allergies have been going haywire. So that was this month's Ipsy bag. I will do a review video on this for you. I've got a whole bunch of masks and stuff that I still have to review. I apologize. I'm going to be working on that over the next couple of days, and I will be working on getting those posted then as I'm over the road. That way you guys aren't missing out on your videos. I appreciate when you when you guys follow me, and I'm sorry I have not been as up to par as I should be. <clears throat> but that was this month's Ipsy. We're going to go ahead and move right on to Birchbox while I've got it here in front of me. This is this month's Birchbox. It is very cute. Um, it's got, it looks like it's a beach type color, and then all, all the little designs on it are little people on beach towels and little umbrellas and stuff. So it's supposed to be like a beachy scene, and then, you know, your water. So, <clears throat> all right, we have our card here, and it says warm weather pleasures. All right, and the first thing I have in here is a Divine's Oi All-in-One Milk with Rikui Oil. And it's a multi-benefit beauty treatment, and it's in a little spray bottle. It's for your hair. Now this is a, it says it's a nourisher, yeah, I can't talk today. It's a nourishing leave-in treatment that detangles while adding volume, shine, and heat protection. Now this is a 50 milliliter sample. I can't really see through the bottle. It's a nice heavy dark plastic, probably to keep it from doing any kind of weird quick spoilage expiration. Um, it is, it retails full size and is $32. A little expensive for a hair treatment, but it might be worth it. The next thing I have in here is a Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil-Free Cleanser. It's a lightweight formula to remove excess oil and impurities for normal to oily skin types. And I'm going to go ahead and take this over the road with me while I'm over the road. That way I can wash my face because... I'm not going to be able to really wear any makeup. I don't know if any of you have ever tried it, but semis tend to be a little bouncy. Um, and I'm not all about jabbing myself in the eye with eyeliner. So <laughs> we're going to avoid makeup for the entire week I'm gone. But it would be nice to be able to take care of my skin while we're at the truck stops. I usually have 30 minutes or so that I can go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face a couple of times a day. So I will go ahead and take this with me along with some uh, makeup remover wipes that I have DIY, um, trying out a formula and seeing if I like it. So far, they work pretty good. And now it looks like I've got two little single use packages here. Oh, the uh, the facial cleanser writer, cleanser full size is $20. It says it's made with brightening lemon extract, hydrating desert plant extract. This face wash removes impurities without drying out your skin, massaging the damp skin, avoiding eye area. But I will 
try that out on the road so you'll get to hear my thoughts as I use it while I'm over the road. Next we have a Divine's Oi Conditioner and Shampoo. So each of these full size, the shampoo is 29 and the conditioner is 36. These are just little single use packages. I'll go ahead and take them. Um, try them out while I'm over the road. That's just one less bottle I have to try to carry with me. Um, it says the shampoo says you'll love this ultra hydrating paraben and sulfate free shampoo for all hair types. It boosts volume and shine, improves texture and protects hair from UV rays. We'll see about that. I'm going to be over the road with no hair product. So we'll actually get to see how well it works. Um, the conditioner then says it is, it says this conditioner is packed with natural active ingredients like Rukua oil, which protects hair from UV rays and heat damage, plus apricot butter, which adds softness to strands. Again, we'll see just how well those work. For those price points, these better work like fantastic. So I don't know what the full size product is, but $29 and $36 for shampoo and conditioner just seems a bit excessive. Now I did get a makeup thing in here this month, and it is a a metal matte Metallia natural quick drying cream blush and this is by Peak Beauty and it is the in the shade Abu uh, full size these retail for $22 it says add a pop of peachy pink to your cheeks with this cream blush and a subtle hint of shimmer apply to the apples of your cheeks and blend for a natural looking blush now it is just a little bitty tin it's actually a tin, though it's kind of cute. I might take this with me just to give myself a little bit of something while I'm over the road. But it is very creamy. It almost feels like um, a lip gloss. And here's a swatch of it. It's got a little bit of a, a shine. That would almost make a nice highlighter. It just got a hint of color to it. I already have a lot of natural pink in my skin, so I don't pick up on a whole lot of the pink. But it's, it does have a nice shine to it, so, you know, if you're wanting to maybe forego the highlighter, you can just hit right here, and I'm starting to see some of the shine from that eye oil stuff. But that looks like that might be really nice. And that says, yeah, it retails full size is $22, so I don't know what full size is, but Lord, I hope it's quite a bit more than that for $22. All right, and the next thing in here is a perfume sample. It is by Toka. The scent is Maya. And this retails anywhere from $25 to $72, depending on the size, obviously, that you get. Um, it says this fruity floral fragrance exudes confidence and femininity. It features a blend of sweet violet leaf and black currant, plus rose to matte. Damascina, jasmine, and sandalwood. This one does not have patchouli, so I might actually be able to wear it. I hadn't tried it. Get a couple of little. There we go. Oh, I like that. I'm in trouble. I like that one. This is quite a bit cheaper than the last fragrance that I got from them, so this might actually be one that I would wear. I'll have to see if my husband likes that scent or not. I'll take it with me. And the final thing we got in here is a tiger grass cream. And it is by Seca Pair. It's a derma green solution. And it says, oh, it is Dr. Jart. It is a Seca Pair tiger grass cream and it's not wanting to come out of the package. Uh, this is formulated with medicinal herb, Centilia Asthesia. This healing, calming, and deep hydrating cream treats redness, blemishes, inflammation, and other irritations. Well, we do see I have quite a bit of redness through my cheeks, so we might have to try this out. I don't really have any blemishes per se, but I don't know. All right, and it says formula, full size is $48. So I'll try it out, but I don't really see me spending that kind of money on it because I don't tend to have those issues. I 
That wasn't what I wanted to do. I was trying to get a little bit of scent and it shot stuff at me. All right, well, as we can see, it's kind of a thick cream. I don't know if it feels weird. It's kind of a minty smell almost. The actual tube says hydrates, soothes redness and itching due to dryness. And I do tend to get a little bit of itching and dryness on my forehead. After using toner and serum, apply a moderate amount on the sensitized skin. Press cream into skin with warmth of hands to allow for maximum absorption. So since I already have a little bit out, let's go ahead and try some of this on my forehead here. Hopefully I don't have any kind of reaction to it. I'm going to try some on my forehead. That tends to be kind of itchy. We'll let that sit and we'll see how that pink goes down. It looks really kind of red on my side, but that's probably just me rubbing on it. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel heavy once I got it on there. This is kind of a small tube, but I don't know if it works. The, uh, Full size is $48. I have no idea what full size is. So, but that was this month's Birch Box, and I'm looking forward to taking some of this over the road with me. See how well I like it and how well it helps me take care of myself in sample form. And the final one we have is the Summer Season Walmart Beauty Box. It's your standard Walmart Beauty Box. Just kind of springy looking colors this month. It says, Embrace Your Beauty. And it's just a card telling you to enter to win a $100 gift card from beautyboxsurvey.com. That I might actually do because a $100 Walmart gift card would be kind of nice. And it's wrapped in a pretty, like, green pattern paper. It's very heavy. And that would be why. It looks like I have a lot of stuff that is going to be very useful in the coming week. I got a soft soap, earth blends coconut and fig body wash. Ooh, I like that. This smells very summery. It, it kind of reminds me of a lighter scent of tanning oil, that coconut, but it's got a hint of fruit to it. So that'll be nice to take over the road. It's like perfect size. And then we have a Pantene foam conditioner. I feel like I got this before. I'll have to look and see if I did, then I've got two I can use over the road. Um, and then we have, ooh, a sensitivity relief fluoride toothpaste in soothing mint with coconut oil. Uh, appears the brand is Hello. It says it is a naturally friendly Hello. And it's sealed, so I'm not going to pop the seal because I'm going to take this with me. I don't have to worry about taking my toothpaste with me. Free from dyes, artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, microbeads, triclosan, preservatives, gluten, and SLS. Anything less would be insensitive. Um, looks like it would probably last me for the whole week. I mean, it's a, a very dense full tube. So we'll try this out this week, too. I also got a Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. Glides on smoothly to lock in hydration and create a gradual, subtle color for fair to medium skin tones. Let's see if I get any other change. I'm going to use my other hand because that one's got everything on there. Classic Jergens smell. It smells very fresh and feminine, it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel oily, but a little bit does go a long way. So on wet skin, this would really go a long way. <coughs> All right, I do get a little bit of a hint of color change. I mean, not enough to be concerned that I just put it on one hand. But, yeah, I like the smell. It smells very fresh. Um, it does not contain sunscreen, does not prevent against sunburn. Applying wet skin after showering with the, wa with the water off, glide the lotion evenly onto wet skin. Start with a dime size on each arm and a quarter size on each leg and adjust as needed. Use sparingly around elbows, knees, and ankles. 
If you're dry on the dry and go, no need to rinse off or wait. Simply pat dry before getting dressed. Leaves no color residue behind. Let me get ready immediately. Color stays on you, not your towel. Wash hands after use. So we'll have to go wash my hands here in just a second when I finish this. It doesn't feel sticky. Yeah, I can see a little bit of a color change. It's got, it's like it's got a, a more of a shimmer to it to help kind of reflect the light and get some color. So that would be very nice to use over the next few days getting ready to go over the road. And the final thing in my box is a three-day whitening boost kit. Looking forward to this. It's by Rembrandt. It's deeply white plus peroxide. There are six custom fit whitening strips. In other words, three treatments for upper and lower. It's just a little sample box of it. I've been wanting to try some of these, but I just can't bring myself to spend that kind of money. And then I also got a coupon. Oh, hey, look at that. A mask. I got a coupon for $2 off of the whitening strips, and it looks like it is an acai berry revitalizing sleep mask. Might have to try this before I leave. I'd like to feel a little more revitalized. Beautiful. And then there's some, other, some more information about the Hello brand of toothpaste that we got, and some more information about uh, some kind of an ad for the Soft Soap Earth Blends. Um, body wash I got. So that was this month's Walmart beauty box. Now, if you give me just a moment to wash my hands, I'm going to go do something with this mop on my head, try to smooth it out a little bit, and then we will get right into trying on the little bit of makeup I got here and finishing my look for the day. So I will be right back. 